I seriously do want to fucking make a cramorant uh, steak because I'm that much mad at the goddamn cramorant. Squid blood moon. What? Maybe I have to talk to the girl again. And maybe I'll be able to activate a blood moon and get Ursaluna. At least that's what I'm hoping for. I don't know how to get a blood moon. So Ursula is the only one I don't have. Oh, hey, kiddo. kiddo. Wait, don't tell me. You actually caught over 150 Pokemon from the Cape to County Pokedex. Now I know you're the real deal. That's right. Oh, I only had to catch 150 Pokemon. Pretty impressive. Must be really something special, kiddo. Probably know more about Pokemon here in Kitagami than I do. And I got here first. Which reminds me. I got a favor to ask you. See? A real Pokemon catching pro like you is just what I need. Got a favor. Oh, did I take away your curiosity? Glad you don't seem afraid to poke your head with new things. In that case, let me tell you what I'm all about. The reason I came here to keep the comment was actually to, to find a certain Pokemon and photograph it. Ah, Ursa Luna. Been searching on my own for ages, but I still haven't found it. So, kiddo, how about doing me a solid and help me with my research? With my search, I'll owe you for that. Rumor has it that the Pokemon I'm looking for is pretty ferociously strong. Mm -hmm. Just think, you could catch it and bring along and bring it along on your adventures. Wouldn't that be helpful? Is that enough to pique your interest? If so, I'll need you to prove you're strong enough to help. If we're gonna partner up on this thing, then I want to know you're cut out for it. That, and I want to get a good shot of you looking all heroic and everything. Battle Piran. Well, that's gonna be easy. Okay, kiddo, time for me to take a perfect shot at your confidence, that is. Ready to show me what you got? Yep. Lemon's gonna whoop your ass. Yes, that's... Then let's just put a bit of distance between us, enough to keep my shot in focus. Not so strong, but... But don't hold back. Don't mind me snapping a few shots while we're at Beat the living fuck out of her Pokemon. She only has two Pokemon. Wow. Yeah, this is gonna be easy. Oh, fuck you, knocked out. No! Lemon, please. Please, with your doctor's degree, wake up. Yes, it should be so weak! <laughs> Oh my god! Lemon's the ultimate beast!
that. Flame flower. Too easy. Now that's a keeper. You're something, all right. I got a bunch of good shots of you in action, too. I think you just might have what it takes to hold your own against a Blood Moon Beast. Yes! That's what I, I need, the Blood Moon, so I can get the fucking last Pokemon. Blood Moon Beast? Yeah, there's a certain Usa Luna I've been searching for. It's known as a Blood Moon Beast. You ever heard of Usa Luna? Where is they weren't all that uncommon a long time, long time ago. You see, Ursa Luna is a Pokemon that usually has this big yellow you know, mark on its forehead resembling a full moon. But they say this one's mark is red. Red moon, as if through a veil of blood. That's why they call it the Blood Moon Beast. This Ursa Luna, the Blood Moon Beast, used to live in my homeland way back when people still called the region Hisui. Seems like it crossed over the waters here to Kitagami at some point and made itself comfy. If the two of us work together, I bet we could be the ones hmm. to finally find and step a shot of it. And if we do, Kido, no not Kido, partner, let's take a look together so we can find the Blood Moon Beast for sure. I knew you'd be up for it. But don't worry, I'll be sure to reward your hard work. Word has it the Blood Moon Beast has been seen in the area northeast of Oni Mountain called the Timeless Woods. I'll head that way now, now and wait for you there. Come on, grab it. I actually don't know what this thing looks like. The only thing I hate about the fucking Timeless Woods is that there's no flying spot to there. There's barely any flying spots in this fucking area. See the tweet that I did? Moderna? Oh, I guess the Blood Moon Beast killed Aderna. Bookworm, get revenge on the Blood Moon Beast for me. Kill it. Don't let it live for killing Aderna. But also make sure to spare one so I can catch it for the Pokedex. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now, now give me a cube. Oh, hey, partner, you made it. Can't help myself when I see a normal Pokemon like that. I just had to snap a couple shots. Anyway. 
It's right around this part of the forest where people have supposedly seen the Blood Moon Beats. Curi curiously, all, s all the signs have been on the nights of with heavy fog. Oh, wow, that, that is absolutely terrifying. In fact, I have heard that all kinds of unusual Pokemon appear on foggy nights. Sure, it's Blood Moon Beats is one of them. It's gotta be. Oh, is that my little cutie pie back for another photo shoot? Ah. Fuck up with this Aerodose. Don't fucking go. Yeah, you don't scare me. Hey, break it to you, bud. Bum da bang! What Captain Lays do that with this great bow up right in front of me? Hey, are things heating up over there? Snap a couple shots for me, would ya? Welcome back, Adrena. Oh shit, I forgot to bring my Pokemon back. Ow, that really surprised me. My camera's okay though, thanks partner. And thanks to you too, of course. Feel a bit bad for that area though. We probably wasn't expecting to see humans out here. I bet only attacked because it was surprised. We should set up a tent, then let the Pokemon know we're here to help them get used to us. Not who I wanted to talk to, but okay. She may be ill, but she is still fine then, eh? It's actually my dad's, but he wasn't using it, so I just helped myself do it. Say hello to our new base of operations for our survey of the Moon Blood Moon Beasts. The funniest thing is, this is so not... Yeah. Safe because there was like a trevenant right beside you. Yeah. <laughs> now, the Blood Moon Beast is way more wary than an ordinary Pokemon. That's why there haven't been so few sightings, or so I say. That means we're gonna need to do some slow and steady groundwork if we're gonna find it. So, partner. What I'm going to need your help with most is photographing Pokemon. I want you to take photos of the Pokemon that appear around here on Foggy Nights. Looking for lots of pictures with a good variety of Pokemon. Afterwards, I'll register your photo data into my handy Pokemon search. Over time, then I'll train it to ignore any sign of other Pokemon that live around here. Bring all that noise will let us pinpoint exactly where the Blood Moon Beast is. Hmm. So, Bright, how long do you think you're going to be streaming? Until I get the final Pokemon and see what I can get as a prize. Hmm. Okay. Wow, you actually understood that? I'm just writing off what the manual said. I picked this thing out of a thrift shop, I don't really understand how it's supposed to work. 
My preliminary surveys make me think there are actually dozens of Pokemon species that tend to show up around the forest on foggy nights. I guess what the love. So how about you try and set photos of ten species of Pokemon for me? How about it, partner? We tackle this together, I'm sure we'll find the Blood Moon Beast. And we'll be looking for clear photos that get the Pokemon nice and big in the frame. You don't want to sneak up on foot and get close to them. No riding on big noisy Pokemon. Think you ready? Just say the word. Once you're ready, we can set up tent and wait for our foggy nap. Go photograph some Pokemon and survey the forest for me. There's one standing right the fuck behind you. <laughs> I think we too. Oh yeah, but I'm talking about the Pokemon that actually lives here. What? Well, yeah, a wild Pokemon that. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe not native, but like, yeah. And let's hang in the tent until the weather gets nice and fuck. What the hell? What the hell noise was that? Was that snoring? Would that be the Pokemon you're supposed to be finding? Maybe. Looks like this Could is... Be. Yeah. Looks like this is about as good as it's gonna get. Alright, partner. Get out there and survey. Then survey. I forgot how to, how to sneak. No, 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 no. Fuck, how do I fucking sneak? Keep going. Okay, so don't press Y. Um. Hmm. I've actually pressed all buttons now. Let me try the uh, open camera thing and see if that makes you sneak. No. Good fun, let me see. That's a that's an imitation Pokemon, Sudowoodo. It's real easy to mistake for a tree in this ball. That's great. I knew you were a rat person for the job. Well, keep up. Great, so you don't need to take it. You don't need to take too close a shot. Good. Okay. I've got nothing but high hopes for you, partner. So next Pokemon. Let's see. That's another Sudowoodo right over there. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed I would to just. I I wouldn't um. So I wouldn't like go. I wouldn't um go too fast. I would like. Yeah. There's a new one. Oh, it looks like a Geo dude. That's probably terrible. All right. Yeah, that's a bad photo. Take a new photo, let me right. see. Mm, yeah, I don't think the machine can get much, much from inches so small. Can you get it closer? Okay, so, yeah, like that. Right there. That's a good spot. Oh, yeah, can you, like, zoom in on the tag? No. That's poor design for their cameras and stuff. Okay. Take a new photo, let me see. It's the rock Pokemon Geodude. You've got to be careful. You might trip over this feather. The funniest thing is, I feel like that second photo was worse than your first. Yeah. You really do take great photos, partner. No. If you try to turn your eyes upward, too, there may be a Pokemon lurking in the trees. Well, keep it the good work. I've got no nothing but high hopes for you, partner. Let's see. Oh, no wait. So, uh... Oh, wait. Oh, Fuck. man. 
Oh wait, there it is. There it is. There it is. Where'd it go? Right there. Oh, it disappeared. You got it right as it was going, as it was like disappearing. Okay. So I'll tell you when. So get closer. Get closer to that tree. Closer to the tree. You want to get pretty close to it. Okay, stop. Now. Got it. God damn Why? it. This motherfucker right here is gonna be a pain in the goddamn ass. Oh, now there's oh, two. Of them. <laughs> okay, so now you can. You have two that you can, like. Choose from which one you wanna. Yeah, do the one right beside you. That one. Oh, yes, oh, good it. one. <laughs> Take a new foot, let me see. That's the working on Pokemon Dusko. It makes quite the impression on a dark night like this. That's my partner for you. You know, I bet there could be Pokemon really... in caves nearby too. You should probably snap some jets. That's that's a pretty good photo, actually. That's the first one that's like really good photo. <laughs> like the Suited Water one was okay. So we got three. Oh, there's one in the tree. In the tree. Look up. Look at in the tree. Oh yeah, there's some in the tree. Hoot 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 hoot. Camera's slow. <gasps> yes! Yep. Yeah, fuck you. I like her. I know. Yeah, they, yeah, they did not like make this camera function very well. No, they didn't. There's actually two Pokemon in this tree right here. Rock and roll is. Are you serious? That's not rock and roll, that's C dot. Oh, that's C dot? Yeah. It looks like rock and Oh, and there's also uh, more on the ground. Yeah, I saw. It looks like rock and roll for a second. They literally have the same shape. Yeah. Then again, why would the rock and roller be in a tree? <laughs> I don't know, it got scared for its life or something. Okay, so we only need four more now. Oh, I see one. Oh, there's a... Yeah. Oh, spider. Yep. Good thing she's not here. <laughs> That's actually kind of cute, how it's on the tree. Yeah, now it's... She said that also she took caves. Oh! Here's another one. Oh. So sad. Beginning evolution of the racist Pokemon. <laughs> The Pokemon itself isn't racist, but it was created as a racist caricature. Yeah. Exactly. No, I can't tell. I can't tell if it's racist because I don't know. Right. We we're not part of the Pokemon world. Uh oh. Uh oh. That scared Ooh, it okay. All. It didn't attack you. Okay. I was worried it was going to attack you. I'm trying to see if I can find a cave. You might be able to find more without the cave, too. Yeah, but I'm also not seeing much. Oh, wait, I see oh, there's one. a Pokemon there. What is that? Oh, is that a Lit That's a Litwick. Yeah, that's probably a bad picture. Okay, so don't, ru don't run. Yeah. There you go. That's actually not too bad a picture. It's just, it's more the like, mm -hmm. the texture on the grass that makes it bad. Yeah. We just need one more.
The music for this part is pretty nice. Yeah. I gotta say. That's oh, there's another movie. Pokemon. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Very empty, a dude. I think this is gonna be like the hardest part. The last one? Yeah. X. Now there's more Litwicks over here. Yeah. Look, yeah, look up. Just make sure. Also, oh, why would. Oh, well, I see. What? Why not? Oh, no, I was questioning why you would look in the, like, caves, but I was like, oh, yeah, you would probably do that because some Pokemon might. Oh, there's, oh. there's a Pokemon. Looks like a Yon Mega. No, it's Vika Volt. Or Yon Mega. That's Vika Volt. Oh, Vika Volt. Yeah. Oh. It was the, like, angle it was at that made me think it was a Yon Mega. Try to get closer. Somehow, this Wait. was a bad shot. Yep, Stag Beetle, Pokemon, Vika Volt. Survey. Oh, you didn't. You didn't even need to go find the. Uh, what? Is, uh, cave. Mm -hmm. To be fair, there might be more than 20 species, too. Fair. Uh, okay, so, if we just compare the photos we both took... Looks like we photographed every Pokemon known to appear in this forest when it's fun. We did it. We really pulled it off. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. Oh, wait. Appears in forest when it's foggy. So, like, yeah, there's probably, like, some Pokemon that don't come out when it's foggy because of like um predators to, yeah because of predators and or yeah other reasons now let's just send all our data to the pokemon searcher and also it was at night too so there are like not every pokemon can be like uh nocturnal so Wait, I, I guess it's supposed to take a little bit for all of that to be, uh, processed or whatever. You know, the photos you took were all real good, partner. You've got an eye for this. So spit. There's only, there's only, like, four that were good. Yeah. What were you thinking about most when you, when you were taking those photos? Cash report. Pokemon as they are, showing off the Pokemon's best size. There really was. Yeah. There wasn't really yeah, it's, it's about the it. third one. It's the third one. It's definitely the third one. <laughs> you weren't thinking about anything, huh? I guess you you were just catching the world around you with natural instincts of a born artist. Uh, no, that's not. That's not. No. <laughs> I was. I was the one doing the thinking, but. I, uh, I'm actually a bit of a slump myself. Even a kid like you knows what a slump is, right? Like when nothing seems to go right for you. You might not believe it, but when I was younger, I was lauded as a photography, uh, photography prodigy. Huh. Everyone loved my photos. Absolutely everyone. But in these past few years, I felt like I've lost my spark. My photos show it, they lack heart. The wars have all dried up. The accolades steam. And the longer it keeps dragging on, the more I lose sight of what it is I even want to capture with my photos. That's when I heard stories about the Blood Moon Beast. I never keep the gummy as fast as I could. I thought that if I could get just get a photo of a, of a standard Pokemon like that, maybe, just maybe, something inside me would change. Okay. 
<laughs> it takes more than that to like get out of a slump. Yeah. I know because I've been in one mm -hmm. for the past like three years. <laughs> Thanks, partner. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to bring the whole mood down with my problems. Oh, I guess the machine's done doing its thing, but that jingle. Pretty sure it's the same one my dryer plays when it's done with the load. <laughs> Too funny. Who decided to use that? Can you just give me a anything a jingle now? Anyway, if we filter out all of our data, there's still one hit out there in the foggy woods. It's gotta be the Blood Moon Beast. We finally found it. Heh, <laughs> that's it. You know, talking to you really helped me throw off some of that old tension. I think I'm ready to go meet the Blood Moon Beast. How about you, Pop? You ready? Yeah, Lemon and me are ready. Yes, then we're off. Now, I wonder if this is going to be like a different form of Ursaluna. It's finally time for me to catch the Blood Moon Beast on film, that is. Things start to look dicey. I'll be counting on you to handle the battle, partner. Yeah, and I'll be capturing it. You too, of course, Growler. Now then, let's get going. Also, how did she have, like, a Legend of Arceus Growl if they went extinct? Did, like, her family keep the line going somehow <laughs> you know what? I'm just not gonna question it that hit we got from Pokemon searcher came from somewhere around here it's awfully quiet stay alert Got it. Oh. I know it's footsteps, whatever's making it must be huge. Oh my god. What happened to Ursaluna? It looks like they're. <laughs> they look like they're suffering, like part of their body is being turned to stone. Mm-hmm. He's got a red moon on his forehead. It's a blood moon beast. It's... It's real. We actually found it. Now, I can't tell if this is supposed to be a legendary or a mythical or just a regular Pokemon. It could be, um... They could have made this one a, uh, pseudo-legendary. True. Alright, my camera. Now you just be a good little beast and stay right there while I snap a photo. What? Yep, the flash was on. So, sorry, the auto flash just. Growlithe, are you ready? Sound like that's a nip. How about you, partner? I've got it covered. Yeah, I want to catch it with a great. Uh, with a. Uh... A quick ball. <laughs> Sorry, and thanks, you've got this. Prepare to be mine, motherfucker. Who's, who would survive in a fist fight? Uh, the Blood Moon Beast or Lemon? Oh, I have to beat it down. I can't just catch it right now. God damn it. Oh, that's super effective. Oh yeah, it's a... It's a normal type. Used Blood Moon. Oh my god. Oh, shit. I think it's also ground type, so Liquidation has that. Oh, yep. Liquidation does more damage than Brick Break. I'm trying to Brick Break. Lemon's gonna beat this thing. 
Oh, what the fuck? Oh, lemon hung in like a champ. That's right, the first time he just... Use Earth. Oh, Oh god, one moon. And it down goes Lemon. You will pay for killing Lemon. Go in, because I don't know how to say it's N's name. <laughs> boy. Uh, hydro pump. Oh, that's probably why the Blood Moon Blast did so much damage, because it's powering its attack. You didn't notice? Yeah, I didn't notice at first. That's fine. N can handle it, I think. Maybe not. <laughs> that's a no! <laughs> yeah, that's a no. <laughs> um, um... He's ground, so Bramble Gas will actually do well. Because Grass also goes well, does well against Ground. Well, you also have to remember it's also normal type. Sure. And Bramble Gas defeated it. Oh. Oh, move this week. Now your chance to catch, partner. Oh okay. hey. So then I'm just gonna use an old ball. <laughs> Better damn well stay in that ball. Yeah! <laughs> now, Pokéx is complete. <laughs> Ursaluna, the pea Pokémon. This special Ursaluna can see in the dark with its left eye and protect itself with mud that is as hard as iron. Oh, so that's just mud. Okay. I thought I literally thought they were being uh, going under petrification. Okay. So like they're actually okay. That's kind. <laughs> but that is a really cool design for Ursaluna, though. Yeah, it is. You okay, partner? I didn't seriously think you'd go toe to toe with the Blood Moon Beast, let alone catch it. That was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Ground. You got to work on those nerves a bit, bud. Oh. Wait. Oh. Heh. My heart is still beating a mile a minute. What a thrill. Just couldn't stop snapping shots of you battling the Blood Moon Beast. I bet you want to give your Pokemon a chance to rest and recover, though, huh, partner? Let's head back to camp for now. Okay. Is it gonna do the. Darn it, they could have put, put the, like. They could have. But okay. the like then uh the like sorry, the healing thing theme. Ah. Uh, true. Packing up the old tent and calling it a day feels a bit sad. Like the like the end of an adventure. Oh healing jingle. Yeah, that's better. Yeah. I couldn't have done this without you, partner. Because if you I finally feel like I have some photos here that I want to keep forever. It's been ages since I felt this way, seriously. Now that I'm all motivated, it's time to ride this feeling and seize the day. And back to the village this instant get the, these photos developed. 
as we always say in the family, time wasted is lost. So I'm not wasting any more time. Let's meet again in Masui. Oh yeah, then I get my prize. You can your what? My prize. She said she would give me a prize for helping her. But first, I gotta do one thing. Go to the Pokédex. Go here. <laughs> and I got... This one, new plus... Now I started special deployment recognition magnificent achievement. Come find me in the tall grass of Rivers Road when you have some when you have some time. Okay, so I need to go to Rivers Road after It's it's Revelers. Revelers Road, okay. Wait, I don't no, there's an there's an L in there, so Reveler. So let's go over here. Let's see what I get as a prize. It'd be kind of cool if I get um, a Hisuian Growlithe. Hmm. That would be pretty cool. I don't think she's going to give you the poke. Honestly, I kind of hope she doesn't because like, that's hers. Well, I'm not saying she gives me hers. I'm saying she gives me like an egg or something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been waiting for you to come by, partner. I managed to develop the photos I took at the Blood Moon Beats. Really? Oh, well, the fact is, once I got them all printed out, I could see that the photos I managed to get were all blurry, or cut off, out of, or out of focus. They really aren't good enough to show anyone, not even you, partner. No. They're still good enough to show. But still, out of all the photos I've ever taken, I think they may be my favorites. I think I've gotten too caught up in my own head worrying about framing or what judges might say. I was thinking about what I ought to capture. But just capturing your subjects as they are, that's what the photos should be. You taught me something important, partner, so thanks for that. Ah, that's right. Oh. Your name. Oh. I never even Wait, asked she you. Wait, she oh. did it? Yeah, she didn't. <laughs> How the hell do you get through that much time without asking? Right. Okay, I, I, get, I kind of get it because I do go without asking. That's because I'm like... Yeah. It's uncomfortable asking people for their names, but like... I typically do it with people I do that with people I don't talk too much. <laughs> I never even asked you your name, partner. I know it's, that's awful of me. After all, you did the hell. But mind teach me your name. Call me Aaron Bright. Aaron Bright, what a perfect name for a gutsy kid like you. Well then, nice to officially meet you, Aaron Brat. My name's Perrin. Oh, I mean, the name's Perrin. Photographer with a renewed love of photography. Photographer. Photographer. Mm -hmm. I can't say I can say that with pride now. Ah, and your reward. Earn yourself a real choice for reward for the all the help you've been. A choice scarf. I'm held about this yeah. trust of course to use what only allowed to you while it's the use of a single move. That's Oh, and this crowd of mine has a younger brother that really loves battle. I think you'll do a better job racing it. Good and strong. I fucking called it. I fucking called it a turn. I fucking called it. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It gave it to you. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a Pokeball. Not even through a Pokeball. Yeah. <laughs> Is it to be real oh strong, God. okay? <laughs> Thing that about wraps it up. I did what I came here to do, so I guess I should hit the road. I'm afraid this is goodbye. I hope I meet her again, because I really like her character. She's a, she's a sweet character. Mm. But you know, Charlotte. 
like these are known for living and working together in pairs. Even if they're separated for a while, I bet their paths might just cross again someday. Honestly, like this is... <clears throat> like that's kind of how I feel about like some games. Yeah. Like even like... Like a lot of like RPGs and stuff, like I wish they like gave their characters more dialogue. Yeah. So you raised the one one with Ken in the meantime. I got to meet again. I have a feeling because she said that she may show up in the second part of the DLC. Mm -hmm. I have a feeling. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing what you pull off. I've got high hopes. So bye for now, Aaron Bright. Till next time. She's pretty cool, and I, and she's also like I also like her hair and stuff. Now I'm gonna get a Pokédex entry. Nope. <laughs> I think it's just counting it as like. Yep, it's an Asumian version. I, I was afraid for a second it would be like um, the regular version. It was just. <laughs> Maybe they just liked that like design they made for it. And they were like, eh, let's use this again. Oh fuck, it was almost done with all of the blood moons it had. Holy oh. shit, it's special ability. The Pokemon ignores no. changes to opponents' evasiveness, its accuracy can't be lowered, and it can hit ghost type move ghost types with normal and fighting type moves. Oh fuck. Oh Ooh. fuck, you do not want to fight this motherfucker with a ghost type. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this fucker will beat the shit out of the ghost type. Alright, now we gotta go on to that road place I was told to go. Well, like, yeah, no, it would it would beat the shit out of the ghost type because the ghost type couldn't hit it. But who yeah. could hit the ghost type? Well, like, unless the ghost type had, like, a dark or, like, any... Like, had a secondary, like... Oh, yeah, I never went back moves. to fight the gems again. I said I was going to oh. do that, and I forgot. Oh, you can fight them again? Yeah, you can fight them again. Hmm. Well, I guess you can do that, like, next stream or something. Mm. Yeah, I'm not going to put it on the subathon, because I think people are going to want me to do the uh Because I'm going to do horror games for a subathon. Oh, yeah. Oh, God damn it. Oh, yeah, speaking... Okay, this isn't exactly a horror game, but I was thinking it would be fun. It would be a fun thing to do. Where it is? Oh, I don't have it on that. What can it do in? Because I think it's a fun. It would be a fun like experience. in with to you or the people like we could have like yeah I think yeah there's an oh wait I can get the demo yay I might get the demo and try it later um just gotta go do you remember the name of the fucking road again? No. You should be able to look at the thing again and look and see it. Maybe. I'll see. Let's go here. Okay, send it to you. Hmm. 
rope. Okay, there we go. It is kind of in a similar vein. I've seen like some people playing it, so and it looks fun. Oh, it's Anki Tagami. Hmm? What? Um, the revolver, uh, the road place is in Kitagami. Where is that? Thanks for not showing me where the fuck it is. Who's the... Hitakami. Oh, Hitakami, um, right? Hitakami mm -hmm. is the, yeah. I know. Where you are far. So, Reveler's Road. Look at the map. Go to the map. Go to the map. Hitakami. The Hitakami Road There's right there. there. Yeah, you, you should probably zoom in, like, a lot. Oh, here it is. It's on this road, right here. Oh, wait. wait. So can... go back, go up. Go up. It might be up there. Right here. Mm -hmm. Right here. You're coming hall, and then, like, just go... You could go down the road, or, like... Yeah. yeah. Wrong button. God damn it. I'm not even sure who I'm supposed to be looking for. Oh, there's another special yeah. mission? Okay, that's something I gotta stay for oh. next time. That's cool. You got me or Ogre Clan. Huh, interesting. The more Ogre? Huh. so funny if that person was the person we're supposed to be. But, no, 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 keep going. I, I was saying keep going. We should, like, oh, yeah. Get out. What, go in here? No, no, go back, go back. You're going to meet, to the town. I have to go back to the mouth, to Revelers Road. Oh, wait, is that him right there? You motherfucker, you're not even on the goddamn road. Oh, hello, hello, and uh, enjoying that school trip, are you? Is there a shop? <laughs> I came to check on how you do. Hmm? Oh, we're just doing a lot. <laughs> uh, I am your homeroom teacher, after all. Once I got here, I decided to do a bit of research on the Pokemon Kitagami and. Oh, that's right. Sorry. I got so engrossed in my own research that I actually forgot to come find you, didn't I? Well, how about I make it up for it by treating you to a picnic? What's my reward? I thought something like this might happen, so I borrowed the usual picnic things from Dr. Clavicle. Oh my god. Wait, I called him Dr. Clavicle instead of Director Clavicle. <laughs> I just mean the director of Doctor. No, <laughs> also his name's called that all the time. I know, but that's what Hatchet called them. Oh yeah, I know. Dig in. I hope the oh. same you like the sandwich I made. Is 
Is Golden his signature Pokemon? Maybe. It may, um, look a bit strange, but I can assure you it tastes great. I don't get out much, so this kind of feel work sure wears me out quick. Can't believe how you kids run all over the place for your treasure hunt. You're really something. Oh, could there be something in my basket? Beats your eyes on that. Pokemon and egg appeared in the basket. Quite the mystery, isn't it? I only brought Gulpin to this picnic with me, and yet... Did it appear then? <laughs> okay. Maybe. <laughs> okay, I confess. The truth is, I had this egg with me the whole time. <laughs> you know about the Pokemon eggs you can find during picnics, right? Whenever a trainer doesn't have the means to care for an egg they find, they can have it sent to the academy where they where we'll take care of it. But then I thought, say, wouldn't it be better to have a great trainer raise the Pokemon instead? So I brought this egg with me. And now it's yours, Eric Brad. But what's in it? We're gonna find out. <laughs> I know it's odd for of me to come all the way to keep the gummy just to hand over a Pokemon egg. But I knew it would be safe with you, Eric Brad. Wait, so you went all the way to another island to give yep. you an egg instead of waiting for you to come back. Yep. <sighs> Adults, why do your adults not make sense? I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean, the parents' Pokemon world will be taken in custody by the child protection services constantly for sending their children out alone to face the world. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that reminds me. Are you still using your Pokedex app over here, too? You should be able to well, fill I, uh, Okay. So I'd say, like, in this reality, in this, the reality of Pokemon, I don't think there is child protective services. Yeah. <laughs> Which, mm, wouldn't be a bad thing, but. Well, actually, if you think about it. can be a good thing. If you think about it, remember Guzma? And the Ben's golf clubs? Huh? No. You don't know? Okay, so in Guzmo's parents' house, they act nice to you, mm. but they, but it is pretty much shown that his father bent his golf clubs on while beating on Guzma because he didn't want Guzma to be oh, uh. a trainer. He wanted him to be a golfer. Oh, uh. Yeah, yeah, it's in the game. That, that, I think that would be a special case. <laughs> well, the thing is, since they still have, they still have like yeah. him under their roof and stuff, and like, yeah. I, I don't think he lives That's with them kind, anymore. That kind of that kind of demonstrates that still, yeah. oh, he doesn't live with them. He probably no, I, he, I think he stays at the. At a base or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Anyways, we should be able to fill the kids' gamer Pokedex by catching Pokemon and live around here. I'll be doing field work in the area for a while, so let me know if you manage to complete the kids' gamer Pokedex in your app. D Dude, that's why you're here. <laughs> that's why <laughs> you're to here. Talk to him again. Talk to him again. I think, I think I more had to do with, like, you, you know, I had to do with something else, I don't know. Yeah. Hello, hello, Aaron, Brad. Is that you oh, I, I see. Okay, wait, I think you were supposed to, like, meet up with him for something else. Yeah. And then, 
to like you you were like supposed so he was here but there specifically for you to like meet up with him while, while like roaming around and stuff wait so it's funny he would probably that means he, he's been sitting here for days <laughs> and i just haven't met with him uh huh. <laughs> Anyways, looks like you've caught two hundred kinds of the Pokemon that can be found in the land of Kitagami. Wait, you're telling me you've caught them all? Wow, what? A complete Kitagami Pokedex. This is great. No, you're great. Totally didn't cheat for it, but anyways, <laughs> thanks for all your hard work. I don't think there's anything more to be done when it comes to surveying the po Pokemon that live here and keep the gun. You, it... you did, you did trade, so you didn't really see, but okay. Yeah, I really wish I had some gave you to commemorate all your effort. Oh, she doesn't have many of them. Oh, I know. Oh. I'll give you this charm. I got a keep the Hall. It's limited edition souvenir they only sell here. And a glimmering charm. Interesting. Having one of these mysterious glimmering charms increases the number of terror shards you receive from terror raid uh, from terror raid battles. I don't use them. This is worthless to me. Hmm. Guess you could learn to use them. Oh, can you show me your Rotom phone for a second? Thanks to the Plum of Feature di Director Clavicle Health with. We can celebrate your achievement. And stop, Eric Brad. So you get a special message from the company that, serves, that certifies Pokedex completion. Aww. Okay, this was worth it. Well, my trainer, Aaron Bright. We hereby certify your achievement of completing the Kitagami Pokedex. May this great feat be celebrated by all. You may have completed this Pokedex, but that doesn't mean your school trip has to end. I hope you'll keep meeting lots and lots of new Pokemon friends around Kitagami. Wait, that leaves something be interesting. Does leave something interesting though. When the next mm. DLC comes out, there's gonna be another Pokedex. So, yeah. Does that mean I'm gonna get a different charm? Maybe. What would that even or be? something else. Right. Or maybe like something completely different. It would be kind of cool if I get it like a second Master Ball. Hmm. But I th I think if they were to do that, they would probably do that like at the beginning of the thing. Yeah. They'd, they'd give you the master ball and then they didn't go through it. <laughs>